Zombie Apocalypse. What is up friends and fans, Mad Llama Gaming here, and today we are taking a look at the RPG dungeon crawler Torchlight 2. Now I know this hack and slash game was released a while back, but it still remains to have a good rating on Steam, and Epic is trying to bring back the popularity by offering it for free for a limited time. If you are a fan of Torchlight, let me know in the comments below what you like most about the game, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some initial gameplay to hopefully help you decide if this is a game you are interested in or not. Let's go ahead and create a new game. Here in the character creation screen, you can select from four classes, Ember Mage, Berserker, Outlander, and Engineer. I'm going to go with Ember Mage because it is the closest class to a regular mage. Now it's time to name your character, which of course is going to have to be Mad Llama. One of the best things about this game is that you get a personalized companion that follows you, deals damage, and helps carry items throughout the game. The best part is that you get to choose an alpaca as one of the companions, which in my books is the coolest thing to a llama that a video game can offer, so I'm counting that as a win. And we're going to name it Daisy. Alright cool, let's go ahead and start this game. And we'll choose normal. And single play. Deep beneath torchlight, a darkness gathered. Time to set the setting for now and the rest of the Three game. Three heroes confronted the beast called Ordrock. Yet even in death, Ordrock's corrupted heart endured and called out. I don't know about you, but it seems like they should have brought more people for this. Lead by example. You guys stay back there. I got this. On second thought... That spear looks like it's going to do a lot of damage, especially against him. Time to bring in the reinforcements. That's unfortunate. Boom, headshot. Too soon? <laughs> Meanwhile... Heroes may fall. Hope may fade, but new heroes will arise. Alright, that was a pretty exciting intro. The controls are pretty simple. Just like Diablo or any other dungeon crawler, you use the mouse to attack and move. Let's go ahead and get our first quest here. I think this is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave, but you're on your own. Warn them that the Alchemist destroyed Torchlight and is headed their way. He may be there already. All right, sounds like I need to go warn you someone. Received a quest. And now I can see that quest on my minimap. You a new recruit? Since this is the beginning, I only have two attacks, melee and fireball. Gotta love these companions for actually helping you and doing damage. 
The fireball spell is very helpful because it is fully automatic. It's also nice that these bigger weapons do cleave damage. Get him, Daisy. Always have to look out for these random chests. Eat fireballs. Oh wow, that guy is much bigger. I'm trying to hide. I think Daisy couldn't handle. Just looting corpses. Man, these guys are trying to hide. These guys are trying to hide in the hill. Oh snap. You have become more skilled. Alright, alright, level two. Looks like I have some new abilities. Let's click on the side thing. Looks like I have five stat points that I can spend across these four categories. Since I am a mage, I will focus primarily on focus since it increases magic damage. I will focus on dexterity as a secondary stat in order to gain extra crit damage. Daisy makes for one heck of a tank, that's for sure. Can't forget that straggler. Eh, I don't really need shields as a mage. Ooh, that's a big boy. Get him, Daisy. Oh wow, even more big boys. Make it rain fire! I want to make sure to hit those explosive barrels. Dang, how long has this guy been here killing things? Oh, he's the guy from the quest that I needed to warn. State your business. All right, I got three things to choose from. Eh, I'll just go with this staff. Got to make sure that it's equipped. There we go. Looks like the quest continues, and I need to warn more people this way. Even though everyone looks injured, this is actually the first major city. Do you need something? I can use the vendors to sell back any unused items using shift plus click. I also have a stash box where I can keep items that I want to use later. You also have your typical weapon vendor, but I'm not going to use that now. Do you need something? Looking at the minimap, it appears that I need to turn in that quest northwest of here. I thank you for your warning, but it has arrived too late. This alchemist has already come and gone. And it was all I could do to prevent him from entering the Enclave. As it was, many Estherians were injured. And since the confrontation, several more have become ill. We are not sure what is causing it. After his assault failed here, the Alchemist carried on southward toward the Temple Steps. Commander Vale and her vanquishers arrived a short while later and pursued him, hoping to prevent further damage. Awesome. Well, I think I'm going to go with the the first choice. Mm. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. All right. Commander Vale believes that the alchemist might attack the Wellspring Temple in an attempt to reach the Guardian of Water. For what nefarious purpose, I am afraid to speculate. There has been no word from either Vale or the Guardian. Scout the Wellspring Temple and determine if the Guardian of Water is in any danger. You have a new quest. Okay, to Wellspring Temple. Oh wait, there's one other quest I can pick up. You a new recruit? Yes, I am. Looks like they want me to gather some armor schematics. Okay. You have received a quest. All right, let's go ahead and do this quest. All right, looks like we're in a new area. Oh snap, zombies! It also looks like I'm using a wand instead of a staff, which is giving me some good range. You have become more experienced. Oh nice, reach level 3. This wand is pretty strong. What is that? A cannon? Nah, I don't really need that. Man, this guy's trying to come from behind. Ooh, that was a big money chest. And spiders. Awesome. Oh nice, that was the first socket item that I can use later to put in armor. That sucks that I can't shoot down on him. Oh, another quest. I need your help. Snap, the thing is attacking me. You have received the quest. Oh, I didn't really get to read that quest. Looks like the quest entrance is down here, though. Let's go ahead and kill more zombies. There's a lot of them just chilling down there. And that one's just hanging on the wall. I think it's time to switch up the weapons and go back to the staff. Yep. Stay away from Daisy. Smashing things open is just way more satisfying with the staff. They didn't really put up much at the fight. And look, he's just chilling in there. I wonder if he was even paying rent. Ooh, 
I do not want to get near these green poisonous blobs. Come on, Daisy, let's bounce. Level four, Daisy. Get away, green things. Forgot about these stab points. I got ten I can spend. Which way to go? I guess we'll go this way first. Nope, that's a dead end. Go figure. This looks like a trap. Oh no, ghosts. It's haunted. Nice headbutts, Daisy. Show them who's boss. Oh, there's more than just a couple of you. I hate these green things, they're so annoying. Hmm, what it was I just saying about dead ends? At least the gate opened, that's promising. Don't mind me just making it rain unlimited fireballs. Stop hitting me in the back. They are literally just falling from nowhere. Don't stay over there, Daisy. You're gonna get sick. How are three people hiding under one dead person? You have gained a level. Level five. I feel so much wiser. That's a really big boy. He's got a lot of health. Thank goodness for that mana well earlier. Ooh, this is an actual spell that I can learn. Now I just need to go to my inventory and go to the spell section and I can learn it. But I don't think it will help me much because I need a shield. Alright, let's continue going down the rabbit hole. Wow, there was a whole gang of zombies hanging out here. That's quite a lot. That dude has a lot of health. In case you were wondering, that blue bar at the bottom makes my spells not cost any mana and can be replenished by doing damage. The 
that's great that spells can't travel upstairs. Now I have the high ground. Insufficient mana. Alright, time to pause to catch our breath and our mana. This guy seems to be our first Not boss encounter. Not enough mana. And yeah, I need to move back more. Luckily the I went to that fight with low. full mana. Insufficient mana. Daisy, no! Finally. Ooh, and a purple item. Quest complete. Looks like I got the item for the quest. It says here, I can use a scroll to create a portal to go back home to turn in the quest. But for some reason, whenever I click on it, it doesn't do anything. I can't do that. I guess I can't use this scroll when I'm in this part of the dungeon. That is not possible. Alright, I guess we're just going to continue. Oh, perfect. There's a portal back home. That was a trap. Wow, that was a pretty poor trap. Alright, let's click on this portal so we can go back to the surface and turn in this quest. My thanks. I think I'm just going to go with this companion item. Alright, another quest completed. Good job, team. Time to go to the next quest area. I just realized that I have accumulated four unspent skill points, so I need to go ahead and spend those. I also have five stat points that I need to spend. I'm trying to remember where you go to actually spend those skill points. Oh, that's for the pet. Doesn't look like it's in the inventory either. Ah, now I see it. It's over to the far right. Now I can use these skill points to help upgrade my skills and make them more powerful. Alright, let's continue with this quest. I should equip this pet item first, just trying to remember how to do that. There we go. Now we can actually put it in its inventory. Now Daisy has some bling and is all set. Let's see if there's any other items that I should be wearing that are better. Alright, I think we're good on the inventory side. need to watch out for those traps on the ground. Looks like we got a lot of enemies just chilling in this area. And the 
this guy can take some damage. My mana is low. Gonna have to pop a mana potion. And a health potion. You have become more skillful. Ooh, level six already. That trap barely missed me. Still got another big fella hiding back there. I can make it rain fireballs all day long. But seriously. Well, that was pretty easy. Your task is complete. Looks like we found the armor schematics for the quest. Man, those traps are really delayed. Let's go ahead and spend those stat points since we just leveled up. Ooh, a golden key. Not sure what that's for. Maybe it'll be used for a side quest or turned in for a reward. Hills are really throwing off my vibe. Daisy, get ready to attack. to get these slackers in the corner. Fail. I need to focus on the quest location on the map, which is that blinking star. I know there's a lot of things on the map that can distract you, but if you don't go that way, you'll never be able to finish the quest. Double spiders, you know what that means. Dang, three times in a row. Looks like we made it to Wellspring, which is comforting because that's where we need to go for the quest. There's a lot more enemies over there than I expected. Infinite power! on an identity scroll which can be used later on to identify epic items. Might as well spend that skill point. Alright, there's the quest entrance. But this area looks a lot higher level than I am now. So I'm not sure how well this is going to go. Oh, 
Oh wow, these guys are taking like no damage. This might go worse than I expected. Even Daisy is taking a whole bunch of damage, which is a first. My mana is low. Not enough mana. Your pet has fled. No, Daisy, Not don't die. Well, at least I'm able to kill them when I 1v1 them. Not enough mana. This is what I wanted to avoid, running into groups. And look at Daisy just victory walking back to me. Not enough money. This area might be too much for me. I'm using up all my ammo every single fight. see how much further I can make it, but I might have to portal back to town. You have become more experienced. Wow, I actually managed to level up. Let's go ahead and spend those stat points from leveling up. Oh nice, I can unlock a new skill which does cleave damage to enemies around me. I just need to add it to my action bar. This is definitely a dead end. Time to get back onto the quest. Here's this new skill being used. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's good for groups. How dare you hurt Daisy? My mana is low. Always complaining about the mana, never doing anything about it. I don't have enough mana. Your attack is wounded. My mana is low. This is going super well. I don't have enough mana. There we go, finally. Is low. Oh man, I need to not stand at that green stuff. It's really hurting me. And 
And let's go ahead and go this way. I think they both lead to the same area. Insufficient mana. Not enough mana. Take that. And this. And some of that. I think we'll summon the portal and then turn this quest in back in town. The nice part is a portal will be created here so that way you can go back to the same spot if you need to go ahead and sell all of your inventory, for instance. You a new recruit? Let's turn in this quest. I think I'm going to go ahead and choose the helmet for this time. I hope you enjoyed this initial look at Torchlight 2. If you would like to see more of this game, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are on this game and what your favorite class is down below. Also, make sure to grab a free copy of the game on Epic while you still can. If you're still watching this video and haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you'll never miss a Mad Llama Gaming video again. Make sure to check out my latest video and most recommended video as well. Also, subscribe to my other social media accounts. Links are in the description below.